Then say Igbo people no want protest. Say na beer or na the drink. Na the way we won't want take protest with that. It's a good one, it's another form of protest. But thank God say will be no enter. I am saying this. Though I don't like tribalism, but I want you to know that you people are the one that used to raise the flag of tribalism first. For instance, Yoruba people like to eat Igbo food. In most cases, an average Igbo man will say, I, I don't want to eat Yoruba food. I don't want to eat Yoruba food. I don't want to eat Yoruba food. All those Yoruba. Now, so we still do that time of election. If you say Obi enter, we for year one from Una. The problem we are going to see cause now he will see the face. If you don't know, let's ignore the civil war. Why did they pursue Una for everywhere? Why did they pursue Una for not? Why? Una no get sense. That's what Una still do. Thank God, say Una do the use Una pray now. Continue with your beer. Continue with your this. But I want to remind you this. Who be the person where the import pass? Who don't like the affect pass? Who don't like the affect pass? If you like, go your place. Maybe you begin to do fake things. They go still cash you. So, which one be say Una the talk say uh, make the Yorubas or make the Agusas be the good one? If a be this day, you know confuse. You know confuse. What you know? Somebody done they prepare to become president for about twenty to twenty five years. Will be just a man from nowhere. I am not supporting anybody. I'm not supporting anybody. But this tribalistic thing, if una no stop him, una could continue to do shoot una self for leg, and una no go smell the seat of power. Till Jesus come. Oh, the referendum that you people have done. What where has he led you people? Let's stay together. Those common enemy, they brought Muslim to Muslim. We shout. Now, tribalism. Let's do something together. Let's do something together. Why do you always, I see one of the talks here, you people are the most intelligent people, the insult a, a very dark man. So, is that where your intelligence takes you to? Talking anyhow? Until we all recognize that we are not black and stop thinking like black man. That we have the same skin color and we have a common enemy. I know they preach for anybody. It's just for the high hope now. Challenge the stereotypes, Joe. Well, guys, uh, the man just spoke. And uh, for some of you, the man has spoken well. Why for some of for some of you, the man has spoken rubbish. You know, it depends on how you comprehend the, the his, uh, his uh, speech and how you understand it, depending on you. But then again, eh, I understand the buzz around Ibu not wanting to uh, to stage or be involved on anybody criticizing the president over the economic as economy hardship. I understand somehow, and also I do not understand. Like Ibu will tell you that they are the first target. If they should start doing anything, they will target them first. Ibu will tell you will tell you that ah, after all, we warned you guys. You guys know here. So now you that say make we still talk again. You know, so many, 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 many excuses. Myself, I'm kind of like kind of like confused about this whole excuses. But one thing I know is that I'm in Nigeria. I don't identify as a Igbo, Yoruba, all those things. But it's good to know where you come from, Shao. It's good to know where you come from, but I'm a Nigerian. So let me know exactly how you feel about that. Because if I start calabashing now about the whole thing, some of you will still understand me. And some of you will not still understand me. So, guys, uh, you know, we are all human beings with our own intelligence. But meanwhile, as you are trying to understand or give out your own uh, 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 little knowledge, try as much as possible to recognize yourself as a Nigerian first and the need for us to stay strong as one than being divided. If you stay strong as one, it will be impossible to scatter but if you are divided is easily they're just going to piece some target so let me know exactly how you feel about that and there is some news coming up today about our beloved president tunubu versus the qatar apparently president tunubu submitted a memo to be able to uh to so let me read the headline they said Qatar reject President Tunubu business and investment meeting request. They say Qatar rejected a business and invented forum trip 
of President Bolame Tunubu to the Arab country, People's Gazette is reporting. The Embassy of the State of Qatar in Abuja in a letter dated February 2024 uh, disclosed that the Qatari government will not be able to welcome Tunubu and hold a proposed forum on March 2nd and 3rd due to the lack of legal binding agreement between Qatar and Nigeria for the promotion of investment. It also noted that its Minister of Commerce has other commitment on the, on the days Mr. Didubu desire to visit. The letter was addressed to the protocol department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Nigeria. You know, eh, the media have a way of twisting things. Abba now. This one is no rejection letter now. This one is just, please, we are not chanced the day that you say you are coming to Qatar. Please fix another date. Everything I read there is not about rejection now. Abba. They say the Minister of Commerce will not be available, that he will have some other engagement. But uh, then again, Nigeria has gone, oh, see, comment. Eh? <laughs> no one said, no one wants to associate with legitimacy. No one wants to associate with illegitimacy. Rejected both home and away. Come on, man, this is not a rejection. Eh? Even as you say as rejection, it's just we are not free that particular date. Give us, pick another date. And if they say rejection, don't you think it's a big, it's a big disgrace to all of us as Nigerians? Say Qatar, they reject our own uh, business meeting proposal. Uh -huh. We already know that we are very, very hungry eh, with the election, with illegitimacy, with so many, many other, th other things. But sometimes, eh, let us also, also think critically now. Before you go cash cruise for something, think critically, please, Nigerians. Eh? We already know, say, everybody wants just cash cruise. Think critically. Think critically. This is not a rejection letter. Eh? This is not a rejection letter. Another date will be scheduled for appropriate meetings. But that doesn't mean it is a rejection letter. Now. Abba! Nigeria say, ah, bah. Small, small now. When I saw it, I saw the headline was like, ah, rejection, rejection, rejection. It's not a rejection letter. Let's be honest. It's not a rejection letter. Hmm? It's not a rejection letter. Nigeria is a very massive country oh, with so much respect, despite our politicians destroying this country. We see, to be able to still have so much respect, like this little respect, up to today, with our economy going this down, like Nigeria currency apparently is the number two worst performing currency currently. Oh. Oh God, we help us though. I meet like more than 50 people in my front. I say, old man, I look at my house. I have six children, five girls, one boy. My daughter and I, on Monday, she'll go back to Ekiti State University. At the five kilometers of Yanusi, where are they work? As I hear say the deserters, I just rush come. As I come through, I see. I say today, whether I die or live, I must get food to my house because I don't have anything. And uh, my salary not, tomorrow I will collect salary. So as I come, I say we push everybody for anybody way for down. If they match you, my face two people get inside. I see four done there already. Where will they try to enter the container? I say another four get for down. Where those army down because of the pursue everybody to risky those ones. So, no be smart. If you go inside, you go pity people. Those are where they fit, where they stand up. There are plenty where they down. But me, I thank God. Though the basic, though the rice is free, but there should be a guide on how to give people rice. Because people, everybody, because of the hardship, everybody's just struggling to take rice. But I just find my way to even enter the container. So, you know, yesterday it was reported that some people buy apparently seven, but not confirmed. About the right side that we are giving. Huh? I don't know if it commence today or if it's going to commence on Monday again. But my own is that please say uh, they should find an easy way to do it so that people's life can be safeguarded. When well, you want to go carry rice, you can't buy. <laughs> the rice don't cost it up. You can't lose your life doing the thing again. You understand? So the federal government, please, the custom officers, you guys are trying, but please make it easy. It's compulsory. Nobody say please. Make it easy for us to be able to come there without losing our life to collect. No more pleasing again. No, 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 be please. 
make it compulsory, make it easy for us to come there to collect. And again, make it go around every other state. Not the only Lagos state be the country now. We have so many other states. Eh? And again, the state governors, what are you people doing? Eh? Provide food for your people. Abba! Local government chairman, senator, as of rep. Eh? What are you people doing? Provide food for your state. Eh? Provide food for your state.